today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a little mini scheme that you can use in the Oakland Raiders offensive playbook. I really, really love this playbook um, for five wide. It's got some really unique concepts. It's got some really great running plays, but I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a twist on this playbook and break down some really good routes that you can utilize for a five wide scheme um, in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel um, and you've never seen any of the content that I produce, what I do is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks on YouTube every single day. And uh, we typically post four videos a day with different strategy breakdowns like this one, different play setups, um, different uh, little tips and tricks here and there about maybe how to read the defense, how to improve your pocket presence, how to stop the run, uh, how to blitz better. Um, just different things like that. So if you're encouraged, if you're interested in getting better at Madden 21, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Like I said, we upload four videos a day, one at two o'clock, one at four o'clock, one at six o'clock and one at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And so if you want to join my community, if you want to be a part of what we're doing, uh, there is a link in the in the description that will take you to be able to join my community Discord. And Discord is an awesome place for us to be able to connect as a community, kind of talk Madden 24-7, even when we're not on a video or we're not streaming. Um, you can always get at me there. You can get at the rest of my community there. And what I really like about Discord um, it's, it's just a simple app that you can get on your smartphone or on your tablet. And what it allows us to do is just connect as a community. So if you're interested in that, I would highly, highly recommend you joining our Discord. All right, guys. So I was just kind of um, honestly just kind of searching through the Raiders playbook because I haven't really tested this empty tray stack out. And so what I figured we could do is uh, I could just simply do a live kind of take on this formation and, and and talk a little bit about five wide and share with you a couple of different things that you can do from this now one of the things that i really like um, that you can do from this formation is you can sub running backs you can sub two running backs in at this these two stack positions or even you just put two running backs anywhere on this and this would allow you to audible down to strong h wing i form tight all of that stuff and i believe that that's actually a really viable concept this year because um, because of the personnel based audibling system, it allows you to really put your opponent, um, force your opponent basically to play nickel defense against you as opposed to playing, you know, anything else. But, uh, what I wanted to show you is I just wanted to show you a couple key plays that I thought was really, really effective out of this empty trace stack. The first and foremost are these two plays here, curl switch and post wheel, um, fade out, I think is a really nice little, um, a really nice little four verticals concept as well. Uh, that you can use but you got pretty much everything in here i think is really unique uh, and really interesting um, obviously you have the jailbreak screen you have salem i actually really like salem uh, the bench corner play is is pretty good as well um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of work on a couple of different plays today and show you um, you know just what are some basic concepts because a lot of people know about the running plays in the Raiders playbook, but not very many people know about the passing plays. Um, and so I just wanted to break down a couple things for you today. So first and foremost, why I like curl switch so much and why do I like post wheel so much um, is for these for these routes um, that you're going to be able to get on the uh, both on the left and on the right side of the screen. So from curl switch, um, what I like from this and it, again to me one of the biggest challenges in five wide is to be able to consistently beat man to man coverage well this play right here really does allow you to beat man at a high clip as you can see that curl switch is able to uh, basically not get pressed because in stack formations one of the things that I think is really powerful and why stack formations might be um, might start become one of the meta formations um, in Madden 21 is because of what they can do against man to man. They really give man to man uh, trouble. Now on this other side, on the back side here, if I run the play post wheel, you see that I've got the same route to Scotty Miller, and so as you can see, you know he's going to come and cut right over the middle of the field. And it's going to give me two really good post routes on both sides of the formation, uh, on both sides of the field to be able to utilize. The next thing that we can do from uh, from the play uh, curl switch is a couple things. Um, one of the things that you could do is you could take 
Mike Evans and just put him on a little basic hitch route right here. And because he's on the line of scrimmage, he's going to get really good positioning against pretty much any man coverage that they're going to run. So, for example, let's say they run cover two man. What you'll notice on uh, on Mike Evans from curl switch, if I put him on a little hitch, you see he's going to get that nice – see how they kind of glitch out a little bit and they kind of try to figure out who they're guarding and then they're able to guard him. What people are going to do against you, at least they, what they do against me from this, is they put they do something like this, right? You know, they're going to put basically a meta coverage essentially with the two purples. They're going to shade over top so they don't give up anything deep, and then they're going to basically uh, take the middle of the formation away with themselves. Well, what you'll what you'll notice about this route to your your little uh, hitch is it's going to be a nice low ball against off coverage man. If they're off coverage manning or if they're shading over top you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man, uh, with that little low ball. The next thing you can do um, is you can hit this little quick route right here to Brait. Um, I think AntCap24 uh, talked a little bit about that route and how effective that was against man-to-man -man coverage. And I know he has a full scheme out on the uh, five wide from this formation, uh, but I think he uses the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. So if you haven't checked out huddle.gg, um, I highly, highly recommend them. They are really, really solid at what they do. But what I really like about this is this thing just gives you some alignment issues, and five wide is really designed to do that. And I think that what what's going to happen is, especially on next gen Madden, people are going to realize how effective this formation really is. Um, now, as far as man-to-man -man coverage goes, I want to talk about a couple other things uh, with these routes. This route here to guy when this little C route out route type deal um, that does pretty good. Again, routes in general this year against man-to-man -man coverage. If you have over 90 deep route running, you're going to basically be able to do a lot of different things. Uh, for example, one little tactic that you can also do is you can take uh, Evans, put him on a little whip route, and then take Godwin and put him on a fade. And uh, you can see that that will sometimes actually get separation. Um, this was the Salem play, so you have that nice little deep in route that you can uh, hit against man-to-man -man coverage as well. What's really nice, I think, about this formation, um, specifically this right here, as you see here, this press man, it's just going to give it trouble. Um, it's just it's just going to give press man trouble. People, are, people aren't just going to be able to sit and man against you at a five wide. And one, one of the things that I feel like I get a lot when I go five wide is press man and pressure, right? Press man and pressure. So you don't always have time for some of these routes to develop, um, but their, their pressure is going to come in so quick. So if you see something like this um, out of this formation, I want to show you a little play that you can go to. So if you're in Mike Blitz, uh, you know, like again, you know, nickel 55 wide, and they're going to use a rush you or do something right, you know, real quick, um, real quick, you know, against whatever you're trying to do, uh, they're going to do something. But what you notice here is you can create these stacked, um, you can create these stacked looks a lot out of this formation. So one of the things that I can do is I can just run my little streak route to Godwin right off the stack, and you basically have to figure out what route what route is going to allow him to get unbumpable. Uh, but once you find that route, uh, you're going to be cooking. Uh, and I'm not honestly not 100% sure because I haven't used this formation much. I just, I just, you know, it's kind of honestly just scrolling through the playbook and it looked really interesting to me. Um, one thing you can obviously do here real quick is I can hit, you see how I can hit these little C routes uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. So I feel like this does give you a lot of tools uh, for you to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. The one thing I, I still worry about is a little bit was like, what if they press, what if they really get after me with a press blitz? Well, you could go with something like um, fade out. You see that Mike Evans is on a wheel. So he's going to go shoot out to the flat, and you'll notice here, you know, these little these little vertical routes can very, very much so complement one another. Um, but we're going to keep testing out these routes. Again, we're going to be able to find something here on this left side that's going to basically cause um a pretty significant man switch and you're going to be able to essentially get a one play touchdown against man-to-man -to -man coverage i think it's a spinch corner play like if i just put him on a fade here you should see it um nope didn't happen there um sometimes it's a zig sometimes it's a flat sometimes it just depends on the formation uh, so we'll try a flat route next and just see uh, how that does but again when they're pressing up on you um, you know, you just basically are going to try to get him off that jam. Uh, and when you see, see, cause that's what I'm seeing a lot is this, we're going to press man blitz you, you know, your routes aren't going to be able to get open. Now, what is really nice is they can't run dollar. They can't run dime on you because you could audible down. 
So the reason that that's nice is what you'll notice is these little routes to the tight end. For example, if I go to something like, um, let's say I go to something like this right here, you'll notice this route to tight end is going to beat man-to-man -man coverage right over the middle, quick, just a quick hitting route. Um, and you'll be able to do that, you know, pretty much at will uh, from this formation. Let's try a hitch on um, on Mike Evans here, just see if that works. A little streak and a hitch, and see if we can't get these guys to rub off one another. Um, nope, not able to get them rubbing. And one thing we might need to do is we might need to make sure that Godwin is on a. Um, we might need we might need to make sure that he's on a he's on a streak instead of a whip, or I'm sorry, instead of a fade. So instead of fading, let's just try this flat streak combo. And there he does get them bumpable, but he doesn't doesn't get the switch that we're looking for. Um, we had this in a video that we did uh, a couple days ago talking about um, the importance of these little these little switches that you can get on on defenders. Let's try a zig and a and a streak here and see. Nope, we're still getting sacked. Hmm, interesting. Because I could have sworn. Um, out of most of these stacked looks, you're able to get you're able to get this. Let's try. Um, let's see here. Let's try. Da, 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 da. We tried a flat. Let's try a flat and a streak. Let's just try that real quick. Make sure. See how he gets unbumpable, but he doesn't get like he doesn't get the instant win animation that we want. So if you have a good press corner, you'll be able to get out there, uh, and you'll be able to to really knock him down. Now again, you know what you can do. Obviously, you know if you go to curl switch, right? You could run this right here, and you see he gets unbumpable, and you can beat you can beat man to man, and you can go pretty quickly. You know, honestly. So there are options. You know, this it's not like we're just helpless uh, against man to man coverage. I just wanted to kind of show you some other stuff. Let's try a slant. I haven't tried a slant. Um, let's just try a simple slant right here. Nope. What I would like to show you really quickly, though, like let's say you get press man. Um, one thing you could do from this little formation, I, I can see being very effective, is you could take uh, Mike Evans, put him on a flat, and take Godwin and put him on a little slant. And you see how he gets off the, off the jam, and then he's basically just instantly wide open. That could be something really, really effective. You know, just using these quick routes. For example, you could take, um, you know, you could kind of do the same thing with a little whip route right here. So you get off, you know, get out there, you know, get that whip route for a couple of yards. You could do that. Um, you know, so there's some options. One other thing I wanted to try, let's try just a basic, let's just try just like a basic out route uh, to Mike Evans here and just see if this gets him off. Nope. I'm surprised that, I'm surprised that it's not getting him off. Um, might have to get in the lab on that. I'm sure there's a specific play from this formation um, that will get him off that jam. Because, but but again, like if you, for example, you run something like this to the left, right? And let's say that they press you right from the jump. Uh, you take Godwin, put him on a little fade here. And these little quick routes, these little quick slants, quick drags, quick ends, that will help you with that press man, um, that press man blitz. So really what you, really what you're able to do now is you're able to say, okay, okay, well, I can get off the jam. As long as I can get off the jam, I'm going to be effective. So, you know, and that's where we see there's that man switch. So on that, looks like on that curl route uh, from, I think, curl switch or whatever it was called. Not curl switch, but, um, oh, gosh, what did we come out in? Was it Salem? That Salem play, that double double in or something like that. But this little curl route, it looks like this little curl route is what gets him off the jam. So having, you know, having this little curl right here, see how he's, See how Evans is on this little fade right here. It's going to get uh, Godwin right off the jam. It's an instant one-play touchdown against press man. To me, that's really, really important to have so that you can actually you know, kind of build this into to an entire scheme, an entire system um, that's going to be able to be effective against pretty much anything. So now you know what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to shade coverage outside another top. I just want to show you uh, what this looks like. So this is press man, but we're going to shade – outside and over top so you're not going to see a press animation the question is do we still see that man switch i think i accidentally ran commits we'll show you that one more time but you know with if if this thing can beat man press you know i think it can pretty much beat anything because the five wide always gives you the best routes 
It's just, can you have time to execute it? Well, this year, you know, if you can beat the press man blitz, you can. Um, here you see if you swerve catch him against that off coverage, um, he's going to be able to beat that. One other thing I do want to show you really quick is I want to show you like cover two man. Um, and here again, you're going to see here um, just a simple in route. You have a little bit more time in the pocket. You're going to be able to step up and you're going to be able to make a clean read uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. One other thing I wanted to show you, let's see here real quick. I'll go press man, but I want to go from cover two. And I want to just show you this route uh, against like a cover two man show. And you'll notice that he does get pressed, unfortunately. So it's only when they actually press him um, out of a blitzing scenario that you're going to get that switch. But, I mean, that's what you really need it for at the end of the day uh, anyway. But, yeah, just, you know, work work these work these route combos. You're going to be surprised at how easy offense is going to be once you start spreading them out, going five wide. Um, in my opinion, it's relatively easy to break down uh, once you're able to consistently beat man. This fade out play is really good against the zone because you have three really, really solid streaks from it. Another thing that, let me show you really quickly. This would be like a, if they run like cover three on you, you'll see... Um, You'll see a lot of windows of opportunity for your offense. Uh, one thing I really like to do out of this is you could basically take on this right side here. I could take Godwin and put him on a little hitch, and then I got that little wheel. Um, that little wheel is going to pull a lot of the zones with him. If they don't pull the zones, obviously hit the wheel. But if they are running, you know, something like a cover three or something like a cover four um, out of this fade out play, you know, this little fade in combination with that little hitch route. Um, will be very, very effective for your offense. So, you know, all in all, I think this is just a, I think it's just a really, really good formation. Uh, I think there's a lot you can do from it. It's interesting that there's not a lot of motion that you can do. Like if I motion the tight end to the left, he only goes that far. Um, if I motion him to the right, he doesn't really go anywhere. On this left side, I can't motion Mike Evans. I can motion guy one out and I can motion him to the right and I can motion to the right just a little bit more. So it's kind of interesting, the, the lack of uh, motions. But there's a lot of good things I think this, this formation allows you to do. And, um, you know, I would definitely encourage you to check it out. This is out of the Raiders book, but it can also be found in several other playbooks. I think a better version of it is found in the, in the um, oh gosh, in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. But the bottom line is, and this is another thing I really like to do from five wide. Let's let me give you a, a quick concept too. Um, you could do something like this out of curl switch. You could take Brait, put him on a curl. Gronk goes on a little hitch, you know, and then you could basically do, you know, kind of your, you know, for for lack of better terms, your your simplicity type of routes. Um, one thing that's really cool is this little motion over that you could do. So like. You could take Godwin, you know, motion him about, get him unbumpable, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, but that route's going to now get really good separation for you um, against man-to-man -man coverage. Another motion I like to do from this really quickly, um, and there's just so much you can do with this formation. But another motion I want to show you really quick is motioning to the right and then motioning back to the left. You see you can get that quick snap, and that's going to get him unbumpable, but it's also going to still get him stacked at the same time. So, for example, let's say that you're running – you know, let's say that you're in that same scenario where they're sending heavy pressure from you, uh, every heavy pressure at you from this three through five. You could motion guy one to the inside, put him on a fade, and then motion to the left. As soon as he moves, I'm going to snap. He'll snap right there, and you, you can get him basically unbumpable, you know, against man to man and see what you can do. So I think there's definitely a lot to be still learned from this, but there's a lot that you can do. Um, you have this nice, you know, Basically, I could take Godwin, motion him out, and now he's in a slant. You know, and there's a lot that you can just do with these little stacked receivers and stuff. So, I think this five wide is really good, especially if you're running the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. This allows you, you know, a lot of you probably run Las Vegas because you're wanting to run the ball. This allows you to pass the ball at a really high level from a pretty stout little formation. And if you have a slot apprentice or if you have a tight end apprentice on the field, um, you're actually going to be able to do some really good damage. Um, because from a slot apprentice perspective, both of these wide receivers on the left side, you know, they're going to be eligible to be hot route as a slot routes uh, or slot receivers. So what you could do is you could do something like a deep cross uh, in combination with the post route.
and with that motion out, you're going to be able to get him, you know, off the jam. So you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage relatively easily from this formation. And that's why this formation I would recommend highly checking out because you're going to be able to beat man, and then you can use your route combinations and route concepts um, to, to basically, you know, break down zone coverage. Um, you have all the routes that you need from this, in my opinion. You know, and, and it's just going to be hard to stop. Um, it's just going to be hard to stop this, um, you know, these little C routes. Um, I could see these being very effective, just low passing them against zone coverage, as you can see right there. Um, so just a lot that you can do from it. And really what you're going to take advantage of, and this is what five wide, in my opinion, is, is designed to do, is, again, you're going to be able just to break down coverages. So what you can do is you can take, you know, you could run hitches on that right side, like I was telling you, something like that right there. And then you can put Godwin on a hitch, motion him to the left, and what you'll be what what you'll be cool is if you watch Mike Evans here, see how this cover see how he's going to break that cover two down, and then you could just low ball that that little curl in there. So a lot of good stuff from this. I could go on about this formation for hours. I think this is something I'm going to have to get in the lab on. I think Ant Cap probably uh, definitely found some really good stuff um, as far as how this breaks down coverage. So I'm going to have to get in the lab a little bit more on this. But I wanted to break this down a little bit, give you kind of my thoughts about it because again, a lot of you guys are probably running the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. Um, but you might not be using the five wide. You can come out in this, and you can still audible down. If you sub running backs in, and what that's going to let you do, you can run a QB draw. You can run all your routes. Uh, take advantage of their alignment. If they're if they're you know already setting up their run defense before you audible or things like that, you can really take advantage of them um, with this with with the plays from this formation. So. Anyways, guys, um, if you haven't already picked up our ebook, one of the things I want to encourage you to do, I just released an ebook, a full guide out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook. It's over 36 formations with over 300 pages, over 30 video breakdowns, and uh, just a really, really phenomenal uh, piece of material. I think you guys are going to get a lot out of this ebook. But what I want you to do is if you haven't picked it up yet, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812. 216-3644. It's also in the description of this video and it's also in the top left hand corner of your screen. Shoot me a text message and what I'll do is I'll shoot you back a text with the New England Patriots sample formation which is over an hour, uh, one hour breakdown on the A slot offset and how to use the A slot offset and pretty much everything you can do uh, from that formation in the Patriots ebook. So uh, you guys are going to get a, basically a formation for free just by texting in and then from that point if you want to pick up the guide um, I would really appreciate it. I think you will find uh, one of the guys, I, I want to read, I want to pull out my phone here real quick. I want to read you a text message that one of the guys sent me uh, today. And he said, I asked him how he was enjoying the guide because he just picked it up. He said, it's the best ebook I've ever gotten. It's better than the other ones that I've gotten because it is so in-depth and detailed. I absolutely love what you've done with this playbook, especially what you've done with the gun spread. So the bottom line is, guys, this ebook is a beast. It's going to help you. Um, there, all of the material is in there. You don't have to use everything, right? Just use um, what is useful. And so I'm sure that you're going to find something useful in this guide, uh, and I think you're going to enjoy it a lot. So it's really going to help your offense, in my opinion. It's tremendously helped me offensively be more consistent and win more games. It's helped some of the people so far that have picked it up. They've been really saying that this is this is a, a special ebook, um, which is what I thought would happen. I thought people would say that. So, anyways, if you want to pick up the ebook, a link is in the description below. Other than that, guys, we're gonna be our next video is gonna go live at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern tonight. Uh, but until that video comes out, what I would encourage you to do is head over to the channel, see if you missed any. There's probably some videos that are going to pop up on your screen or at the bottom right corner um, for you to check out as well in case you missed any of the uploads. Um, and if you have any Madden-specific questions, uh, go ahead and shoot those to me via text message. I'd love to help you get better at this game. Thank you, guys. We'll see you.